What's going on everyone? I just wanna say a huge thank you. We have reached a mega milestone in my opinion. It has been one year since I started my CJ Media YouTube channel. It's crazy to think that 12 months have gone by and all of the events that have occurred from running multiple races to meeting people around the world to working with some really amazing companies. I would have never thought a year ago that all of the things that would have happened. When I set out to do this, I thought, you know, I'll start recording these videos. I wanna run 100 miles. I had a friend in Australia saying, document some of your training so we can see what you're doing. Make a documentary at the very end. Well, after a week's worth of recording, I realized there was no way I was gonna take all of this training over six months and create a documentary. I just didn't think I would have it in me, that I wouldn't have the motivation afterwards. It would be just way too much footage for me to handle. So I decided let's put out weekly videos and see what happens. And the very first video, this one, My name's Chris Elmore, and in 26 weeks, I'm gonna run Beyond Limits Ultra, attempt to run 100 miles in less than 36 hours. That video started all of this. I would never have thought, a year later, that video has over 82,000 views. The number of people that have contacted me still today that say, hey, I found your video, I've gone all the way back to the very first one, and have binge watched everything and now I can't wait till the next video to come out blows my mind it's still hard for me to believe that I've connected with people the way that I have and that people are actually waiting each week for these videos to come out I had two goals when I decided to make this channel one run a hundred mile race and two get back in shape after taking a huge break from remodeling this house essentially rebuilding it I really needed something after this last year of basically buying a house, tearing it down and rebuilding a house there, uh, doing a total remodel, basically down to the two by fours and uh, all new plumbing, electrical, uh, everything. Expanded the house. I was able to put my gym in the garage, which uh, is something I've always wanted. And uh, just over that last year, I haven't trained like I should have been training. Well, I've been able to achieve both. First, I did run 100 miles, and second, I just posted on Instagram, if you saw it, I have lost 20 pounds and put on muscle. When I started, I was 216 pounds, and I have gotten down, as of yesterday, to 194 pounds. Now, there have been some ups and downs in there based on the racing and the training and the transitions that have happened, but steadily, I've continued to go down. In the beginning, I was losing weight pretty rapidly. I got down to 200 pounds pretty quick, and then it seemed that I kind of stabilized there in that 199, 200 pounds, and I was okay with that because I was feeling fit, I was racing, I was eating to recover and feel like I could perform. Well, since then, I have continued to start to drop. I've transitioned into training for a 70.3 half Ironman. While doing that, I've also started to lift more, trying to lift at least two to three times a week, putting some muscle mass on, so I actually saw my weight start to go up a little bit. But then in the last couple of weeks, two to three weeks, it has really started to come down, and I was really, really happy, surprised when I hopped on the scale this week, and it was 194 pounds. But why don't we see what's happened over the last year? Uh, each week I'll uh, do a report. What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in to 26 Weeks, the second episode. Made it to the top. I'm winded. How's it going everyone? This is episode four of 26 weeks. Today I've got a four miler, just a nice easy four miler.
But today, I'm feeling a little run down, so I decided not to train today. It is Sunday morning. I got to sleep an extra hour, so I'm much more rested. It's Friday, thank goodness, no running today. I'm gonna hit the rower for a while and the bike. I'm gonna do three rounds of 10 minutes each, so I get 60 minutes of cardio in, and then I'm gonna hit the weights. I've delayed working out long enough, I slept in today. Today is Saturday and it is 4.45 in the morning. I'm about to catch a lift down to the Santa Ana River Trail and I'm basically starting 20 miles from the beach and I'm gonna run all the way down to my buddy Marwan's. It is really tender. Didn't hurt during the run at all, but when I got back and went to breakfast, I was sitting there and all of a sudden it started aching. So I'm gonna roll it and hopefully it is not hurting anymore. episode 8 and I am in Red Rock Canyon in Las Vegas right now. I'm going to take a chance in this video to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me on YouTube and social media, leaving the comments. Good morning, I'm headed out for my first run. It's going to be a six miler this week. I'm still keeping the mileage at the beginning of this week a little bit low, still trying to recover. Uh, last week was a recovery week, but my Achilles and my calf still a little tender. Specifically, didn't drink last night. Uh, I did have a drink, but uh, I didn't drink because I knew I had to run 20 miles this morning. But unfortunately, every so often, I wake up with uh, really bad headaches or migraine. All right, well, I am on a bridge above a waterfall, and today we were filming with the drone, and I lost control of it. And the drone went down, down a cliff, on the edge of the river, down here. Well, I'm headed to the race. It is raining. Current weight is Look at that, I broke 200 pounds, 199.2. Down to 199, so down a little bit, but still down, so 199 pounds was a success. Anything down is a success in my book. Well, welcome to episode 17. I'm in the Netherlands. It is Sunday night, the end of the week. So, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. I'm not gonna lie, it was a tough week trying to train through being sick. I don't know if I'm on the men's. I'm still feeling pretty rough at the moment. I did not run this morning. I've been fighting my cold, and it is again pouring the rain. So, pouring rain, pouring the rain, pouring rain. Welcome to episode 20. Ah, 
I just stepped off a curb. Completely feel like I strained my right calf all over after it was feeling so good. This is definitely not good. Today is Wednesday. It's pouring the rain out. I decided to take the last couple of days off ever since straining my calf. On Sunday, I've been a little scared. I just picked up Gary and Tracy. I am following them out to the race. Start. Finish out the weekend at 170. He went all out, man. Zoomed right on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to season two of 26 Weeks, folks. Decided I have registered and I am going to do my first half Ironman, my first triathlon in over eight years. Wow, that was fun putting all of that together. It is so cool to go back through footage and relive that. I don't really watch a video after I've put it out that week. I'll watch it to make sure it looks good. Every once in a while, someone will ask something about what was the song at 7.15 or uh, what was that product you mentioned? And I'll have to go back and I'll rewatch something. But going through the footage I've taken over the last year, one, there's a ton of footage. I can't believe it. But going through that and seeing the transition, seeing the people I met, the experiences I've had, that was fun. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I just wanna say I am going to continue doing this. We are gonna give it another year and see where we're at. And I just wanna say how grateful I am for all of you who are viewing it, who are leaving comments, who are giving me a thumbs up. It's been so neat to have you guys reach out on social media, whether it's Instagram or Strava. I can't believe how many people are following what I'm doing on Strava and leaving comments and sending me emails with their stories. Those are some of the coolest things to wake up to in the morning. Check my phone and there's an email from someone who found my videos and has been inspired one to reach out and tell me their story, what they're training for, what they've gone through, and how the videos have helped motivate or inspire them. That is by far the best part of all of this. So I just wanna say thank you. It's been a year. We'll do this again in another year. Good morning, folks. It is Saturday morning and I am headed out on a run. Not Saturday morning. It's not. Nope. I'm gonna hit a swim workout today. Get probably at least 1,000 to 12,000. 12,000. 1,200. That video started it all. I would have never thought that video would have. I don't even know how many views that first video has. I just, I just said I would never have thought that video has. I don't even remember how many views it has now. Doo -doo -doo. Let's go, let's go. Going back, episode 10, episode four, episode one. 82,000.